My name's Alex Walford and I wanted to show you how you can get a file called kerberos.csv and this file contains a list of principles um, to create and uh, this happens when you need to uh, kerberize a cluster and you don't have the ability to create um, objects in uh, Active Directory, so so these have to be manually created uh, due to security requirements uh, by by an admin rather than um, allow a script to create them. Uh, and so we'll, what we'll do is step through the Kerberos wizard. So I'm going to click on uh, admin and then enable Kerberos, and we're going to proceed through this wizard. And uh, we don't have to follow through with it. So um, um, in order to get to the next page, we're going to say that we did all these things. Um, and uh, if we actually are going to Kerberize it, then we have to uh, obviously go and do all those things. OK. So it's going to ask me some questions now, like you know the LDAP uh, URL and the, the, uh, the user that we use to uh, connect to LDAP and those types of things. OK. So K KDC host. So I'll just say ad.walford.io, the realm name, usually in caps, walford.io, LDAP URL, LDAP ad.walford.io, and the container, uh, I'm just going to use this, Hadoop. Um, and usually, if this was a real AD, I, I would click test and make sure it works, but um, I, I just want to show you how you can get this CSV file um, that's going to be helpful for your uh, your admins. So fill in these other details. So we have uh, uh, admin host, okay, admin host, uh, okay. okay. So now we're here. It's going to install the uh, client. Um, on the cluster nodes, and it's going to test them, and it's going to fail the test, and that's okay because all we want is Kerberos.csv. So we, we would take this file and we would go to our uh, the AD uh, admin, and uh, it will have a list of principles to create. This is going to take a minute, so uh, I'm going to fast forward here. Oh, wasn't too bad. Okay. Um, so we're going to step through this wizard, accept the the default values. All right, and here is where you download this uh, Kerberos.csv file. So I'm going to click uh, download, and let's open it, have a look at it. And so here it's going to have the. Uh, the host name and the principal name um, for all the um, principles that need to be created. And this is what you would uh, give to the, uh, the uh, AD admin. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much.